بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ سی لینگویج پروگرام دیر از اے پرابلم اسٹوڈنٹ فیسنگ اسپیشلی ان دا آن لائن کلاسز دیٹ ہاؤ کوڈ دے کمپائل دیئر سی لینگویج پروگرام اور سی پلس پلس پروگرام سو ٹوڈے آئی ول ٹیل یو اباؤٹ دا ایزی میتھڈ In this way, you can easily compile your C language program, either the C++ program, online uh, website or the online compiler. It is very easy. First of all, you will move towards the Google search engine. And here you have to write your query, for example, online C compiler you want to search. There are many other compilers, but first of all, today I will explain you about the program is there is a free compiler that help you that how could you run your C language program or C++ program. So I will choose this one. There is another one that is called online GDB. This one is a little bit complex and this one is easier one. So I will choose the program is you have to click this one after that there is there is a screen will appear on your computer you can see there are two languages given three languages number one is python number two is if you click on the python so it will activate the python compiler if you click the c compiler you want to run c language program so it will click the c compiler or if you want to run the C++ program, so you will click on the C++ compiler. So this website help you in any language which you want to make a program, either it is Python, C language or C++. For example, today I want to run a program in C language. So I uh, already I have a program that I have typed in a text editor and now I want to run that program in this compiler. So I will, first of all, I will remove the previous program like this. You have to select and delete. After that, you have to paste your program or you have to write your program. You can type your program here Although I have already typed my program in my text editor in the Microsoft Word. So from there, I have pasted that program in this compiler. You can see this program is related to calculate the sum and average of three numbers. First of all, you have to add header files, stdio.h, conio.h, void main, calorie bracket, and break, uh, and the variables, integer variables, n1, n2, n3, sum, and pro. Pro for product and sum for sum. And n1, n2, n3 are three variables. After that, you will calculate the average in a variable a, b, g. So first of all, we will take input in first variable that is n1. So you have to give message from the printf statement that is used for output and scan f useful use for take input so same like that you have to take input in n1 after that again message for second number and you will take input in n2 and again you will give same message enter third number then inverted comma small bracket semicolon after that scan f percentage d is for integer because you are taking input in integer variables and third variable is and three and this one is and sign that is called m percent after that we will calculate the sum sum is equal to n1 plus n2 plus n3 then semicolon and after that you will calculate the average for average we are using a b g sum slash three because there are three numbers so we will divide by three and after that, in PRO, we are calculating the product of N1, N2, and N3. And after, we will print the sum of three numbers. 
that is in some variable and the average of three numbers will be in abg and we are using percentage d for sum because sum is integer variable we can see sum is integer variable and abg is float variable because float variable can store floating point values that's why we are using percentage f and product for product we are using again percentage d because product is pro is for integer so in this way we are getting output of sum average and product and in the end we are using get ch semicolon and curly bracket as we have uh, know that get ch is a function that stop the program output on the screen now i'm going to run the program you will see if there are some errors that will appear on the screen on the right side output screen we will see the errors and there are some errors i want to show you that normally in c language program we use those uh, header files and functions but right here in this compiler it will give error for example i am going to run let's see there is a compilation terminated error an error is on line number four we can see include conio dot h that compiler is giving error on conio header file and this one is a conio header file console input output and normally in c language we use that file but here in this c language compiler you can remove this header file like this if you are removing this so you have to remove get ch function because this is normally used for just stop the screen but here in this online compiler there is a facility that we can stop the program or we can see the program on the right side of the window okay student your program is completed so you have to run then you will have a message on the right side of the screen enter first number enter first number press enter then again second number press enter then again third number and press enter so you will have the output of these three numbers sum of these three numbers is 15 and average of these three numbers is 5.00 and the product of three numbers is 120 so this one is the output of the program on the left side of the window we can see because we are calculating sum and average and product of these numbers and you have noticed that the output last line is coming on the uh, or two outputs on the same line so you in this problem to remove that problem you will use slash and here you can use slash skip sequence slash and, and again slash and and again slash n so you will avoid these errors that is coming on the right side that is combining the text of the next line so again i am going to run the okay student after writing uh, escape sequences you have to run program again then you will have the output on the screen first number four second five third number six then c you will have the formatted output sum of three numbers is 15 and the average of three numbers is 5.0 and the product of three numbers is 120 so in this way you will get the output of the given program we have provided on the left side of this window that is called ide right now we are working in ide that is integrated development environment and that is provided by the program is online c compiler we are using right now online c compiler and we have wrote our program on this left side window text editor and after that it will give us the output on the right side so in this way easily there is no need to install the c language programmer into your computer you can use this online compiler and you can run your program and you can see the output i hope students you will apply these programs into uh, this online compiler in the next uh, video we will come with a new program so until that allah hafiz i am going to signing out